Hey everyone, Matania from fengineer.com. This video is going to cover the concept of retargeting. So what retargeting is, is basically when you've... I'm sure a lot of you guys have done some online shopping in the past or have visited websites related to merchants or merchant websites. So when you've gone to these websites and you've browsed through their products, if you've noticed sometimes when you go back to Facebook, you'll see that specific website's ads now appearing on your newsfeed column. I mean, on your newsfeed or your column ads. So what these guys have done is they've um, tracked your details and added that to their audience in their in their advertising, and now have started retargeting effectively you as a visitor that has already been to their website. Now the benefit for them is that you've already showed interest in their products so you're more likely to convert as a, as a sale than someone that hasn't clicked that advertisement at all right so you're effectively a lead in a weird way um, that we can kind of do that ourselves for our teespring campaign so those that have clicked through to our teespring campaigns we can retarget straight to them um, because they've already shown some interest in your campaign so the likelihood of them actually seeing that ad again, say they've forgotten about, say they've clicked it and they've kind of seen it's a good idea but at that particular moment were too busy to make the purchase and you can kind of retarget them so they may see the ad when they're back home or when they've got the time to actually look at it properly and that's happened a lot for me and I've made a, a few sales, it's kind of, it helps you kind of make that extra bit of sales um, throughout your campaign. So I'm going to just go through how to do that there's a specific video that Teespring have done for it, but in case you've just stumbled across my set of videos and you've seen this for the first time, then I'll just go through it anyway. So I've gone to Ads Manager and I've gone to Audiences and now I'm going to click Create Audience, Custom Audience. Initially when you're doing this, if you haven't retargeted before, you'll have to paste the um, the conversion pixel, or the, sorry, the retargeting pixel. and the way you do that is you go to custom audience from your website and now you'll see this I think I see this because I've already done this but initially if you have it then I think the pixel will appear straight away and then it's similar to when you're tracking you'll find a pixel ID this one is about 15 to 20 digits I'm not exactly sure but it's basically the long number that you'll find within the code once you click that um, copy and paste that code into your Teespring campaigns, any one of them, just click any campaign of yours and then under the advanced setting I think you'll see a retargeting um, category and under that just paste in this code. What that does is it, it, it connects up Teespring to Facebook. So now you just have to do this once so that connection is made. Once that's done now you start to make a audience for each campaign of yours that you want to retarget. So once that's done, I'm going to pretend you guys went ahead and went ahead and done that. So you know, cancel that. So now we want to create an audience, custom audience. Oh, I should just continue, but anyway, create audience. So here, pretend you've got got a campaign now for Scottish people. So Scottish. Shirt. I'm going to name this audience name. Um, we want to put this at 180, set that at 180. Why? Because that's the longest we can set it for. So that'll, that's basically how long this audience will stay in your, um, in your Facebook advertising profile for. Um, the longer the better, because in case you want to use them again, maybe for another campaign you'll do in the future. Um, so people visiting specific pages. So we this is where you add your Teespring URL, teespring.com slash uh, Scottish. Let's pretend that our URL is Scottish Pride 101. Let's so that's that. And now we want to add now you want to add a link. So what we're doing here is we're unselecting those that have already made a purchase. So those that have made the action that you want them to do already, which is buy that shirt, you don't want to be wasting your impressions or clicks on those people again, right? So you'd, this is where you put teespring.com slash thank underscore you. So Teespring displays a thank you page when someone makes a purchase. So 
those that have seen that page have obviously made that purchase. So you, you want to, by selecting this, you're not including them in your um, in your audience. Um, third link you want to put, which is your last link, is those that have clicked the checkout button, oh sorry, that have clicked the reserve it now or buy button but haven't gone through with the actual sale. So you can do this by, by typing in teespring.com slash buy slash checkout. Pretty sure that's it. It's either that or an underscore. No, I'm pretty sure that's it actually. Teespring.com. I don't think you have to worry about the HTTP for this one. Teespring.com slash buy slash checkout. Um, I'm going to put this into the article. Um, I'm going to link this to the article that I'll I'll kind of write more about this on my website, and then I'll link it to the actual original Teespring video. So just in case I've got it kind of wrong here, you can go to that one. But um, that's basically it. And now you go create, and that'll create an audience for you. And slowly that's going to gather up people as you start advertising and people start to click through to your Teespring campaign. And then after you've got about 100 plus or 200 plus, um, after it's collected that many people, then you can start using it. So you'll have to wait maybe a few days um, when you're ad initially advertising your Teespring campaign so that this data is collected. Once that's collected, again, you can you make a separate campaign. Um, I normally just call it, uh, you know, Scottish shirt CA, and then I'll add this as the audience, and I'll just let this run for like five bucks a day, something like that. So um, yeah, that's about it. And I uh, hope I've been clear here. It's a, it's a really good method for you guys. It it does make, it gets you the extra few sales. Um, in some cases, I've made five to ten sales just doing this off, um, you know, fifteen to twenty dollars spend. It's weird how it works, but works really well. Um, so that's it for this video. I'll join you guys in the next.